Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Mr. Oreshana, Saul, Chris, welcome to the class. Good evening. Thank you. Good evening, Mr. Oreshana. Come on, I need energy. George, how was your day? I imagine it was very difficult, right? Yes, difficult day or easy, Jorge? Difficult. Do you copy? Mm, Orellana, no answer. <laughs> What's uh -huh. I? Okay. <laughs> Difficult, right? Hey, Saul. Good day. I imagine. Hey, Saul, how are you? Ready, Hi. right? Hi, okay. Welcome to the class. Today we're going to start with unit number four. Okay. Unit number four, right? Oh, okay. Let me check. Let me share with you, right? Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new class. This is basic module number one. And this is class number 16, right? And today is November 21st. The topic for today, preposition of place how to use proposition of place, right? We're going to have an interesting class talking about directions and locations, right? Uh, that we consider sometimes is difficult, right? The locations and the directions in front, across from, next to, in, on, at, et cetera, et cetera, right? But let's begin. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, let's begin with the objective, right? Saul, can you read the objective for this class, please? Address and place. Describe the location of my and other workplace. Okay. The location of your company, right? The location of the place where you work. Está bien dicho address, teacher. Address, address. Address, address. address. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, commercial. This is a commercial. Look. Uh, when we say the verb with different intonation, for example, address or impact. Uh, when you say address, it's a verb, right? Verb, right? And when you say impact, it's a verb because of the intonation, right? But when you say address, it's a noun. And when you say impact, it's a noun, right? So we say uh, address is dirigirse a. Impact is impactar, right? But when you say address, direction, right? When you say impact, impact. So uh, some examples, there are more, but not all verbs are the same. This is a good example, right? By the way, Saul is saying this example, right? Depends on the intonation, we can say it's a noun or it's a verb sometimes, right? Okay, let's continue. Now we're going to practice with some places and some locations. Look at this, a bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall, a clothes store, an electronic store, a fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store. Notice that it's toy store, right? Not toy story. Toy story is a movie, right? <laughs> okay. So toy store, a park, a dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel, a supermarket, a convenience store, the ones that we have in the gas station, right? The convenience store, 
a travel agency, a church. By the way, we have here a dry cleaner, right? The difference between dry cleaners and laundromat laundromat is that in the dry cleaners you pay you give money and they wash your clothes right and, and, and iron your clothes but in a laundromat you only put coins in the machine and you wash you wash the clothes right you that's the difference between dry cleaners and laundromat dry cleaners is more expensive because they do the laundry for you. But in the laundromat, you do the laundry, right? Okay, let's practice pronunciation. Repeat after me, please. A bank. A restaurant. A pharmacy. A school. a bookstore, a taxi stand, taxi stand, a mall. Okay, Jorge, please repeat. Only this group, please. Only you. Come on. A bank, a restaurant, a pharmacy, a school, a bookstore, a taxi stand, a mall. Okie dokie, good pronunciation, Jorge. Thank you. Now, the next one. Everybody, everybody, repeat. A clothes store. An electronic store. A fire station. A police station. A shoe store, a toy store, a park. Okay, thank you. Now, please, Chris, only you, Chris. Can you repeat? Thank you. Let's store an electronic store. A fire station, a police station, a shoe store, a toy store, a park. My goodness. Excellent pronunciation, Chris. Now, again, everybody, Thanks. please. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, everybody, please. A dry cleaners, a gas station, a hotel. A supermarket. A convenience store. A travel agency. A church. Okay, very good. Now, only Daisy, please. Only Daisy. Repeat. And right. Cleaners. 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 Mm -hmm. A gas station. A hotel. A supermarket. A convenience store. Convenience store. Convenience store. A travel agency. 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 Mm -hmm. A church. Okie dokie. Thank you, Daisy. Now, class, any question about vocabulary? Do you understand everything? Do you understand? Fire station, electronic yes, store. Sir. Yeah? Okay, thank you. Church, you know what is church? Catholic or evangelic church? Religious. Iglesia. Ah, it's true. It's true. Totally correct. That is church, right? Convenience store, you know, it's like a store in a in a gas station. If you go to Texaco, right, or 
or Puma. Well, well, by the way, Puma is going to change to Shell. Shell is a gas station coming to El Salvador, eh? Soon. Yes. Okay, wait. Uh, estoy escuchando. It's Claudia. Ah, okay. Very good, Claudia. Got it. I understand. Just give me a second. We have Jancy, Claudia, and Glenda, right? Okie dokie. So let's continue. Let's continue. Good. Now, class, this is a classic map of, a, I don't know, a town, right? Imagine Cojutepeque, San Miguel, or, or Cujucuyo, I don't know. A place, right? A place in El Salvador, right? Well, to tell you the truth, um, one of my favorite writers is Gabriel Garcia Marquez, Gabo, right? And the most famous novel of Gar Gabriel Garcia Marquez says that uh, 100 years of solitude, right? Cien años de soledad, right? He says that all the towns in Latin America, right? Todos los pueblos de Latino America, we are the same. We have a park, we have a church, we have a school, we have a bank, etc. etc. So, so this map is any town in Latin America, como cualquier pueblo en Latin America, right? Understand? Okay. So let's look at the places. We have a park, a mall or commercial center, right? A bank. A, a sport palace is, is, a, is a, a store, right? It's a store. Sport, about sport. A school. A church, the city hall, the city hall that is the alcaldia, right? The city hall. And then the book world, that is a bookstore, right? Arrows Company is a company, of course, and a restaurant. I think, I believe it's a pupuseria, in my opinion, but I'm not sure. <laughs> or chilateria, I'm not sure. One of the two, right? Okay. And also we have the first avenue, the second avenue. Look, these are the avenues. And then we have the Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. I believe this place is San Miguel because in San Miguel we have Roosevelt Street, right? Well, anyway, yes. Good. So any question about this map? Any question? No tissue. No question. Okay, thank you, Marlon. Hey, Marlon. Marlon is here. Welcome, Marlon. We need Hi, you. teacher. How are you? Are you okay? Are you okay? Yes. Oh, good. Tell good. me. Yeah, very good. Uh, we miss you yesterday. Lo extrañamos ayer, Marlon. Yes. Oh, okay. ayer fue un día complicado, o sea. Oh, sorry. Puse levantar, me puse alarma y ya no, no le escuché. No, so, I understand. Don't worry, I understand. Hey. With some, especially Monday, come on. Monday is really complicated, right? Okay, well, it's a pleasure to have you here. Now, class. Okay, anytime. Now, uh, we are going to learn how to use three preposition. Remember the last class, we were working with the preposition on, in, and at, but we were talking about time. Remember? When we say, for example, in, in November, in 2023, right? On, on November 21st, on vacation, on Father's Day, on, on Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish, on Christmas, right? On, at, at three o'clock, uh, at night, at midnight, you know? So, on, in, and at with time, tick-tack, 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 time, right? But today... We are going to learn about the use of on, in, and at when we talk about places, location, right? Locations, you know? For example, we say on 4th Avenue, on the corner, on the street. Uh, for example, we say the pencil is on the table. The teacher is on the floor on the floor, right? Um, the picture is on the wall. On, 
on. So on means surface, superficie, right? Surface, on. Everything that is touching a surface, on. Especially the streets in a city, right? Uh, especially the avenues, right? The sidewalk, you know, set la acera, you know, sidewalk. So if you're walking on the sidewalk, so you saw you're on, right? The floor in a house, el piso, right? On, it's a on. So all surfaces on, right? In. In is a closed place. Closed place, un lugar encerrado, right? Totally or partially closed. Listen, totally closed, like this, this uh, room is totally closed, right? But not only totally, but partially closed. For example, eh, El Salvador, right? In El Salvador, we have eh, trees, buildings, houses, etc. It's not that you're closed. Or in San Salvador, for example, or in the park, for example, you are in the park, in the neighborhood. It's not that you're totally closed, right? No que te totalmente encerrado. No, 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 no. no. It's, eh, but you are in the middle of buildings, houses, cars, etc., etc., okay? So you're partially closed, parcialmente encerrado, right? Especially in a forest that you see some trees, right? If you go to El Imposible, for example, in El Salvador, right, or El Trifinio, you're not on El Imposible part. You are in because there are some trees, you know, some trees, some mountains, some hills. So you are in. So again, in is for a place that is totally closed, totalmente cerrado, right? Or partially closed. Good. Then at is very specific place. For example, if you are in, in a company, let's say, for example, you are in uh, Martel Consultores, for example. That is the place where, where Otmar works. Martel uh, Consultores is a place that is closed. Yes, it's not open, right? No, it's closed. And, but, when we talk about one specific place at Martel Asociados, for example, one specific place is the meeting room. Okay, you say, I am in Martel Asociados. It's okay, good. But when you say one specific place in Martel Asociados, the meeting room, for example, you say at, right? Let's say another example, right? We are in the house of Mario, for example, right? So we say, where is Mario? It's only one example, Mario. Mario is at the kitchen. Eating. <laughs> no, no, Mario is at the kitchen, right? So is uh, Mario is in a house, in a house, but... One specific place of the house is the kitchen. So Mario is at the kitchen, right? So at refers to specific places, okay? The same happened in the city. Where are you? At work, at the bank. So when you give directions and location, you say for specific places, at. You can say in the bank. Yeah, it's acceptable, right? But when you talk about directions, locations, it's more appropriate, more correct to say at the bank. Okay? So you have two options. You can say in the bank or you can say at the bank. But in the bank, you talk about that it's, it's closed place, right? But when you say at the bank, you're talking about specific, specific place. So you're talking about location, right? Good. Any question? <laughs> Daisy? <laughs> I see Daisy, come on. You can make questions in Spanish, Daisy, no problem. Puede preguntar en español, Daisy, si no entendido. Yes, come on, you can do it. <laughs> I don't know, Marlon, Claudia, Jorge. Trate really? de entenderla en español, pero sí, es bien <laughs> complicado. <laughs> Ok, I will repeat it in Spanish, right? Cuando se trate de superficies, okay. superficies on. Cuando se trate de un lugar cerrado, total o, o parcialmente, Daisy, in. 
Y cuando se trata de un lugar específico, at. Okay? Good. Now we're going to go to, to examples. Example, right? Look. When do you use on? Her house is on Bank Street. Arce Street. Eh, Juan Pablo Street. Roosevelt Street. On. Why do you say on? Because it's surface, superficie, right? Surface. We go to school on 34th Avenue. La, la, la avenida número 34, right? It's an avenue. On, right? I work on the 10th floor, el piso número 10, right? 10th floor. So on, on, su superficie, surface, right? Now, when do you use in? She lives in an apartment. So the apartment is closed. For that reason, you say in, right? They live in a house. The house is closed, right? I work in an office. In, in. In. Why? Because the office is closed. It's closed, right? Good. Then we say at. When do you say at? Because look, I say, I live at 50 Main Street. That means mi, mi número de casa es la casa 50, right? Mm, you know, the, the house. And the name of the street is Main Street. So for that reason, we say that it's only one house on Main Street that is 50. Solo hay una casa en la calle principal que es número 50, right? No hay más, solo una. So it's specific, specific. So at 50 Main Street. Other example, he says he works at a bookstore, a specific place, bookstore. They study at the Brooks School, a specific school. So specific is at, close is in, and on is surface, right, superficie. Okay? Glenda, please. Ah, no, Jorge, sorry. Questions? Sí, una pregunta. Yeah, tell me. ¿Cuál es la diferencia entonces? Donde dice, I work on the 10th floor. No mm -hmm. tendría que ir mejor at. O sea, se puede confundir, no sé. No, no, no. Because in this case, you're talking about surface. Es que aquí está hablando de superficie, Jorge. Surface. ¿Ok? ¿Qué significa 10th? Uh, ah, el décimo piso. Oh, ya. Yeah. Décimo piso, 10th. You know, eh, ordinal numbers. 10th floor. Eh, es que está hablando de la superficie del, del piso, you know? Mm -hmm. Y eso es on, on, you know. So keep in mind this, superficie on. Es, no, sé, no importa que sea la pared, una mesa, el suelo, el piso, right? la calle, la avenida, la, la acera, right? On, on, right? But when you say in, el lugar es cerrado, right? Close, okay? And at, specific place. Es un lugar específico. For example, we say, uh, I don't know what, what is the number of your house, Jorge? The number of your house? Microphone, Jorge? Microphone? 509. 509. Oh, it's a big number. So only 500, 500, sorry, nine, right? Nine. Nine, nine. Okay, good. So, 509 is only one number, specific. 510 is the, the next house, right? <laughs> so, it's a specific. So, you have to say at. I live at 509. Understand? So, it's a specific, the house of Jorge, in this case, right? So pero, the... pero en, en on también aparece, we go to the school on the 34 Avenue. Y abajo ah, okay. Dice, wait, wait. Like... wait, wait a minute. Okay. So 34th Avenue, la avenida 34, right? How many houses are in, in 34th Avenue? ¿Cuántas casas habrá en la, en la avenida 34? Many houses, right? Many houses. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter if you say, ah, la avenida 34, la 35. No, that's not the point. The point is that you have to say a very specific place, right? Other example could be, Jorge. If we go to uh, Pizza Hut on 34th Avenue. Vamos a la Pizza Hut 
que está sobre la 34 avenida, right? Okay, in this case, you can say at, right? When we talk about specific, you say, for example, we go to the Pizza Hut, uh, we go to 34th Avenue uh, at Pizza Hut, for example, right? Vamos a la 34 avenida, pero un, el lugar específico ahí es la Pizza Hut. So we say at Pizza Hut. Porque no hay otra Pizza Hut ahí en la 34, okay? But if you say only the street, pero si solo se refiere a la avenida o a la calle, aunque sea 34, te decimos, on. Estamos hablando de superficie, right? But if you want, we can add something else. Look, I can say, we go to school. We go to school uh, at 45 or something, right? 45, uh, 34th Avenue. That is different, right? Because we say, vamos a la casa 45 en la 34 avenida, right? So in this case, you have to say at, porque solo hay una casa 45 en la 34 avenida, right? But if you say, ah, no, no, yo solo quiero ir a la avenida, okay? On. You got it? It's complicated, George. Because in, in Spanish, we, so, we only say en. On, in, and at, we say in, in Spanish, en, en la calle, en la, en la casa 50, en un apartamento, en la calle, en la, en, on, right? But in English, it's more complicated because they say in, on, and at, right? It's more complicated, right? Good. Any other question, George? ¿Le queda claro, George? O va, vemos más ejemplos. It's Okay. Yeah, okay, good, thank you. Now, please, class, repeat after me. Repeat, everybody. Her house is on Bank Street. We go to school on 34th Avenue. I work on the 10th floor. She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. I live at 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. He works at a bookstore. They study at the Brook School. Okay. Now, oh, I have some messages here. Uh, good evening, Jancy. Okay. Let me see. Okay, continue, please. I will take the attendance. Yes, I will take the attendance. Eh, Ana María. Besos. Welcome, Ana María. Brian. Claudia, está oyente, ¿verdad? Eh, Chris. Here. Thank you. Daisy. Present, present. Thank you. Present. Eh, Claudia, tú, right? Yes. Okay, good. Va a estar de oyente, va a estar de oyente ¿verdad, Claudia? Yes. Sí, promesa. Okay, good. Tell me, tell me when you're ready. Cuando esté lista, me avisa. Dagoberto. Present. Thank you. Eh, Glenda, estado oyente. Griselda. Present. Thank you. 
Jorge. Present. Josué. Present. Thank you. Welcome, Mr. Castillo Gaitan. Welcome. Eh, Carolina. Marcela. Mario. Ernesto. Mario Ernesto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mario. Present, teacher. Thank you. Marlon. Present, teacher. Thank you. Otmar. Maybe. Saúl. Present. Thank you. Y Jan sí que está oyente, ¿verdad? Ok. Good. Now, let's practice again and repeat. Let me see. Ana María, you're going to help me, please. Her house is on Bank Street. We go to school on 34th Avenue. And I work on the 10th floor. Please, read for the class. The examples of on, Ana María. Hola. Uh, read. On, the examples of on. Her house in, is on Bank Street. We go to a school on 34th Avenue. I work on the 10th floor. Okay, on the 10th? <laughs> 10th? On the 10th floor. Good. And then let's say school. School. Repeat, Ana Maria. School. A school. No, no, no. Eh, no. School. Es. Mm -mm -mm. Eh, no, no. Listen, listen. Let's make this. Exercise. No, no. Not only for Ana Maria, for the class, right? Listen. Eh, listen to the teacher. Listen, Ana Maria, listen. Now, school, right now. School. School. Okay, ready, Ana Maria? Now, repeat. School. Now, Excellent. My goodness. Clap for Doodly, right? Yeah, Ana Maria, you did very well. Nice. I like it. Okay, good. Now, in. Uh, can you help me, please, Dagoberto? She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. Repeat, Dagoberto. She lives in an apartment. They live in a house. I work in an office. Good. Uh, Dago, I like when you say she lives. Because it's an S, right? Good. Good pronunciation. Thanks. Yes. Now, let's go to the next one. Um, can you help me, please? Uh, Chris. At I live at 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. Aquí se me fue una mayúscula. Tiene que ser minúscula, sorry. Lowercase, lowercase. They study, listen, they study at the Brook School. Okay, Chris, only you. Only okay. you. I live at the 50 Main Street. He works at a bookstore. They study at the Brook School. Okie dokie, thank you, right? Now, these are examples how to use on, in, and at, right? Okay. Now, it's time to work. Uh, well, last time we were working with information questions, so you, you don't have you don't have problems, right? To 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 describe the the the, the information question. So let, let me see. Uh, so I need your help, please, for the number one. Um, Daisy, please. They say, can you help me with number one? What is the auxiliary for your brother, Daisy? Do or does? Do. Mm -hmm. But remember this, right? Plural is Where? do. And singular is does. Interperson. Cuando el nombre es tercera persona, Daisy, cuando el nombre es tercera persona y es plural, vamos a decir do, ¿ok? 
Pero si la tercera persona es singular, vamos a decir das, ¿ok? Now, Daisy, okay. ¿your brother is singular o plural? Your brother es tercera persona, ¿verdad? Ajá, es das. Ajá. That's correct. Excelentoso. Where does your brother live, work, o, o play? <laughs> live, work, o play. Daisy? What is the verb? What is the action? Where does your brother? Play. Play. Mm -hmm. He works office. Mm, no, play no. Now, work or live? Work or live? Work. Work, correct. Ta Where does your brother work? Uh-huh. He works in a pupusería. Ah, no, no, pupusería, no. Office, right? So, this is the most difficult part, Daisy. In, on, or at? In es un in. lugar cerrado. Yes, it's true. In an office. But, Daisy, pay attention. You can also say at. It's possible to say at, right? When we, when we talk about the location, you can say at, right? But both are possible. Ambas son correctas, Daisy. In or at, right? But in this case, because Daisy say in, so yes, no problem. In, right? <laughs> okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much, Daisy. Now, can you help me, Griselda? Number two. Where do you study French? Where do you study French, right? Where, uh, Griselda, where do you study French? Uh, uh, Le Magmase, Le Magmase, uh, Griselda Pacle Le Fonse? Beaucoup? Griselda Pacle Fonse? No. Ne, ne <laughs> no, no, I don't speak French, eh, Griselda. <laughs> Solo me sé una palabra ahí. Okay. okay, now, we study in, Griselda, on or at? Study in. In, okay, good. In, correct, now. But remember this, you can say in, Griselda, or you can say at. But when you say in, you refer that you are in the closed place, right? Estamos en lugar cerrado, in. But when you say at, you're talking about the location of the place, right? I say in Spanish, cuando usamos in, nos referimos que usted está dentro del lugar, you know? Pero cuando usamos at, nos estamos refiriendo al, 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 a la ubicación del lugar de inglés corporativo, right? So in this case, you can use both. Vamos a usar ambos, in or at, right? Thank you very much, Griselda. Number three, please. Who's next? Jorge, please. Mr. Orellana. Number three. Where does... Correct. Does. Your neighbor? Works. Works. Okay, where does your... Ah, works. We're using that, right? Remember, yeah. every time we use das, the verb is... Work. Work correct. Good memory, George. So she works in. In. Well, in this case, again, you can say in and 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 not. But it's for me. For me, George is more appropriate to use in, right? But you can use both. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Now, let's go to number four. This is for uh, Josué. Okay, Josué, ready? Mr. Castillo Gaitan, are you ready? Yeah. yeah <laughs> good. Ajá. Se me había levantado. Okay, sí. Josué. Where do your parents or where does your parents? 
Where does? Mm -hmm. Okay, let, let me let me point it right. Eh, por cierto, José, esta pregunta me la hicieron ayer. Me la hizo Dagoberto, right? Dagoberto me hizo esta pregunta ya. Okay, look. Que a veces es difícil identificar cuando usar do o das porque no, no sabemos bien cuál es el sujeto, ¿no? ¿ok? Bueno, en primera y segunda persona usamos el do, ya, ya saben, ¿verdad? Uh, where do you, where do we, where do the, eh, do I, ok, good. Aunque sea singular, pero como es primera y segunda persona, usamos siempre el do. Pero siempre que sea tercera persona, que una tercera persona a la que estamos hablando, en este caso, por ejemplo, number one, your brother, right, your brother. Your brother es una tercera persona, right. Your neighbor también es una tercera persona, ¿sí? Y your parents, tus papás, right, también es una tercera persona. Entonces, ¿cómo saber si en la tercera persona vamos a usar do o das? Ahí está la pregunta, ¿ok? Good, sencillo. Cuando es tercera persona singular, das. Cuando es tercera persona plural, do. ¿Ok? Josué. So in this case is do your parents or does your parents? Do you say? Do okay, doki, yes. Very good, Josué. Do because your parents, tu papás, you no, know, son dos, papá y mamá, you no. Know? Do your parents? Okay. Work, live or study, Josué? Live. Live, correct. Good. Now, let's go. And pay attention, Jose. Because it says they live 58 Arthur Street. El, la casa número 58, right? On Arthur Street. So, Jose, they live in, on, or at? In, me parece que. Mm -hmm. Pero in es. Okay, I repeat. We use on when we refer to surface. Cuando nos referimos a superficie, calle, mesa, piso, avenida, on, right? When the place is closed, cuando el lugar es cerrado, como factory, inglés corporativo, o office, we say in, right? When the place is specific, cuando el lugar es específico, we say at, okay? Specific place. So, Josué. In, on, or at? On, sorry. Mm -hmm. Ok, si borramos acá, vamos a ver, vamos a borrar esto acá. Permítame, Josué. Aquí estamos. Si borramos el 58, ¿ya? ¿Sí? Sí, sería they live on. Tiene toda la razón. Pero si nosotros... Deja, ponemos el número de la casa y decimos, mmm, ¿cuántas casas 58 hay en la calle Arce? Solo una. Just one, right? Entonces, ¿sería específico sí o no? ¿Josué? Sí, sí, sí entonces sí, sería sí. at. Excelente. At. Excelentoso. Yes, at. They live at 58 Arce Street, right? Ok, thank you, Josué. Now, class, questions. ¿Sabe que me gusta? Que ya podemos usar las preguntas de información, que son de las más difíciles en inglés, así que ya lo hicimos. <ríe> y apenas vamos por el básico uno, ¿eh? Ok. Now, no questions, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Repeat after me, ladies and gentlemen. Where does your brother work? He works in an office. Where do you study French? We study in English Corporativo. Where does your neighbor work? He works in a factory.
Where do your parents live? They live at 58 Arce Street. They live at 58 Arce Street. Okay, now let's practice. Let's practice. Please help me. Uh, Carolina is here. Just incorporo Carolina. No, okay. So. Sí, aquí, aquí ah, estoy. Hello, estoy. hello, Carolina. Hello. Welcome. Ya nos hacía falta, Carolina. Hello. <laughs> ¿Qué se había hecho? Ay, trabajo. Sí, trabajo. No, ya no trabajemos, solo estudiamos inglés. Es que okay. la temporada navideña yes. es full. Oops. I'm sorry. Yes, I understand, right? Ok, y yes. Mar Marcela está con nosotros ya, Marcela. No, ok, good. So, eh, Carolina. Eh, ¿Sí? In number one, please, I need you make letter A, right? And okay. Ernesto... Ernesto, you're going to be letter B in number one. Please repeat. Carolina A, Ernesto B. Okay, Action. teacher. Okay. Where does your brother work? He works in an office. Okie dokie, thank you. Now, Mario, please. Number two, your letter A, Mario. And Marlon is letter B, right? Action. Where do you study French? He works in an office. Uh, no, number two. Marlon. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. We study in English Corporation. Oh, yeah, yes, it's English Corporation. Okay, thank you, thank you. Number three, right, Saul? Letter A, Ana Maria, letter B. One, two, three, action. What does your neighbor work? She works in a factory. Okie dokie. Thank you. Number four, please. Uh, Chris and Daisy, right? Number four. Chris, letter A. Daisy, letter B. One, two, three. Action. Where do your parents live? Where do your parents live? Daisy? They live at 5A Arce Street. Okay, thank you. 58, right? They see 50? 58. 58. Hey, good. 68. Excellent, also, right? Good. Any question, class? No questions? Okay. Continue, right? Continue with this. Good. Now, complete each conversation, right? Now, what are you going to do? You complete the question and use in, on, and at, right? Please, class, I need you make a, sh a screenshot, you know, capture pantalla, please. Capture pantalla, screenshot. And again, right, I, I ask the favor to Glenda or, or Mario to send the screenshot to the to the group, please. To the group, please. Oh, good. I have a message here. Oh, yes. Saúl, in this case. Thank you, Saúl. Thank you very much. Muito obrigado, você, Saúl. <laughs> okay. Good. Oh, in, in, in German, Saúl, danke, danke. Danke, thank you in German, right? Okay. Good. Now, I will make the groups. Well, in French, you can say, oh, also, Daisy. Thank you, Daisy. In, in yes, it says, uh, you send the screenshot, right? Daisy, I will say in French for you. Merci beaucoup, Daisy. Merci beaucoup in French. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. <laughs> Merci beaucoup, yes. In, in Italian, is grazie. La ragazza, Daisy. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, let's go. And make the group, right? Let's make the groups. Sala para grupos pequeños. Let me see. We can make three. 
Creo que podemos hacer tres salas. Yes, we're going to make three, right? Eh, tengo algunos oyentes, eh, Claudia. No sé si ya puede participar, Claudia, o todavía está oyente. Bueno, creo que está oyente. Todavía eh, no. Todavía no, ok, good, no problem, no problem. Ahí solo escucha a su compañero. Eh, luego tengo a Glenda y a Yancy. Están de oyente. Los demás y todos estamos activos, ok? Now let's go. Group number one. Copy, please. Copy. Ana María, Chris, Griselda, Josué, Mario, and maybe. Ya se incorporó maybe. Maybe, hello. Maybe. Miss Rivera Ramírez nos copia, maybe. Bueno, espero que ya le funcione. El micrófono creo que le está fallando, ¿verdad, maybe? Mándeme un mensaje ahí porque, bueno, ojalá pueda participar. Ok, group number two. Eh, Glenda, bueno, está de oyente, Glenda, ¿verdad? Eh, Carolina, Ernesto, Marlon, en Yancy. Sí, aquí solo tengo tres, Marlon, Ernesto y Carolina. Bueno, en el, en el grupo tres, eh, Daisy, Dagoberto, Jorge, en Saúl. Mm, bueno, entonces vamos a hacer una cosa. El grupo uno está bien pesadito, está bien completito, ¿verdad? Así que le voy a robar uno. Le voy a quitar a Griselda. Vamos a mandar a Griselda al grupo 2. ¿Ok, Griselda? Yes. Good. So, group number one. Ana María, Chris, Josué, Mario, and maybe. Eh, group number two. Glenda, Griselda, Carolina, Ernesto, Marlon, and Yancy. Con la salvedad que Yancy y Glenda están de oyente. En group three es igual, ¿verdad? Eh, Claudia de oyente, luego Daisy, Roberto, Jorge en Saúl, ¿ok? ¿Ready? Vámonos entonces. Eh, ¿Qué dice? Maybe va a estar de oyente. Bueno, maybe va a estar de oyente entonces. Thank you, maybe. Ok, vámonos. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Claudia, nos incorporamos al grupo 3, por favor. Yancy, al grupo 2, aunque esté de oyente, Yancy, puede incorporarse. Y Josué, al grupo 1, Josué, please. Josué, grupo 1, ok, good, thank you. Claudia. Unirse al grupo 3, Claudia, ok, good, thank you. Dos, dos, dos. Dos, en, el, en el en el dos Ajá. En, el, en el dos en el dos espérame, espérame, espérame. ah ya entendí la uno es una pregunta y la b es la respuesta de así la uno es, así es vale la dos es where your dos este where dos verdad sí. qué uh -huh. dice Dago está callado <risa> Estás dando la respuesta correcta. Y la B de la 2 sería She Live. Ahí tengo dudas en el primero. El segundo sí se cuelga. In, in an apartment. Bu in, building. O building. Building. Yeah. In, a, in an, an apartment okay. building. At, at 13. Pero ¿por qué? Para lugar específico. Y ahí. Uh -huh. 
Solo que la avenida está sobre de, o sea, la calle. Busca Tran Avenue. No, ¿cómo te... Sería in. No, no. sería on, sería bomba. Sí, Cusco Tran. I live on 12 Cusco Tran Avenue. Correcto. Sorry for the interruption, but the 12 is the number of the house. The 12 is the number of the house in Cuscatlan Avenue. Es específico. Es específico. Yes. Es is eh at at Correct. Correct. Correct va. Number 2. Where does your boss live? No. On an apartment. No, así saben en un apartment, ¿verdad? In an, uh, in an apartment. In an apartment. Tenemos la duda, teacher, en el 2. En, en un apartment. En el 2B. Number 2. Let me check. Si she lives in an apartment. Okay, she or lives... she lives on an apartment building at. No, no, because we're talking about the building, not the floor. Estamos hablando del, del edificio, no del, del piso. In an apartment. Si fuera el piso sería on, pero como es el edificio, oh. in. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you, teacher. También Thanks. pueden usar at. Si estamos dando la ubicación del lugar, podrían usar at. It's oh, okay. Acceptable. But in this case, in is okay. In is okay. 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 Nos Thank quedamos you. en la cinco. Cinco. Where do you go out for dinner? Uh, where do ¿Dónde you... vas a hacer la cena? Me, yo. I go to a nice Chinese restaurant on the mall. On the, on the mall. No, era, no es in. ¿Qué sería dentro de, de, del mall? No? Pero eh, I go to a yeah. Chinese restaurant in the mall. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the mall. Tiene más sentido. Sí. Where do you go out for dinner, man? Chicanelita. Mm. El chucho, el chucho. Sí, ahí me está ladrando mi chihuahua. <risa> es que me deja la duda porque él decía de, de el, la ayuda que nos acaba de dar. Si fuera del piso, si es on the floor. Por eso me queda la duda. The, ah, por el in the ball. Ajá. Pero ve que tiene sentido, teacher. In the mall. In the mall, yes. Uh -huh. ah, pues estamos bien. Okay. Estamos bien, entonces. Sí. Seis, number six. Where do they, do they exercise? Sí. Where do they? Where do they exercise? No, ajá, sí. Where do they exercise? They exercise, they exercise at, at home. home. Ajá. At the home. Excelente. Sí, compagino. Sí. 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 We finished, teacher. Ya nos podemos ir. No, <laughs> no, 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 relax. Uh, we all only have today nine, Friday, nine Friday. No, today is Tuesday, right? <laughs> nine o'clock, nine o'clock, yes. I'm so tired, teacher. Okay. I'm so angry. Ang angry or hungry? Angry, angry, angry. Angry, why angry? No, angry. <laughs> hungry. We, hungry. Come on. Hungry. Remember the We movie? only to come to take. <laughs> Come on, Mario, Mario, a coffee and continue, please. The, the only solution. 
Okay, let's do it. Right Mario then. and your group need a prize. The prize is, is finish the class early. <laughs> okay, we, uh, I am going to finish the class exactly at 9.59 for you, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's okay. too at sad. At 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to the main room. We right? live, teacher. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, good. Number one. Number one, group number one, right? Please help me. Where do you live? I live in 12 Cuscatlan. Mm -hmm. But what is 12? It's a number. I know, but the number of the street or the number of the house? The number of the street. Mm -mm, because it says 12. Cuscatlan Avenue. Si no llevara una TH, pero no lleva una TH, right? It's a teacher. On. At. On like, at. 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 Because it's the number of the house, 12. La casa número 2 de la avenida Cuscatlan, right? La, clas, la casa número 12, right? Si fuera how, la... how can I difference the, the, yeah, because the, the, the number of the house and the street, teacher? The, no, the ordinal the number. number. The ordinal the number. TH, uh, like this, like, look. 12. 12. Ah, the ordinal number, teacher. Yes, Cuscatlan <laughs> Avenue, right? Yes. But, but this, is a, uh -huh. a, this is a cardinal. No, that is ordinal number. Look. 12. 12. 12. Uh -huh. but, the, but the sample is 12 only. The example is cardinal. So uh -huh. it's the, the number of the house. Ah, cardinal is the number of the house. Yes, 12. Ah. Okay, understand. But in English, the streets are la doceava, avenida Cuscatlan, right? You know? So at, thank you very much, group number one. Group number two, are you ready, guys? Number two. Where does, teacher? Okay. Sorry, uh, Ernesto, right? Uh, but this is for, for, because Dago asked me this question. Perdón, que, que Dago me hizo esta pregunta. Entonces, cada vez que hay un ejemplo, quisiera <laughs> recordarle a Dago, ¿verdad? Porque... Ponemos do o das, ok. No la hice yo. No, no, ahí no. Yo, yo sé, Dago, pero es que ah. como usted me preguntó para ilustrarle a toda la clase, por eso digo, Dago, <ríe> sorry, Dago, excuse me. Usted ya entendió, pero, pero está un poco difícil, ¿verdad? Así que quiero que a todos les quede claro, ¿no? Ok, good. Eh, cuando es tercera persona singular, en este caso es tu jefe, eso solo es un jefe, ¿no? Entonces decimos das. Pero si aquí dijera voces, tus, tus jefes, entonces aquí sería do. Siempre que hay tercera persona, singular, das. Cuando es tercera, eh, tercera persona plural, do. ¿Ok? Good. Thank you. Now, letter B, right? Group number two. She lives in, on, or at. At. At an apartment. Yes, it's correct. You can say at. Or you can say in. The two are correct. I consider that is in teacher. It's correct too. You can say in. No problem. Right? But both are correct. Ambas son correctas, Marlon. En este caso, right? So Why? Que, ¿Por qué, teacher? Lo que pasa es que cuando decimos at, nos estamos refiriendo a un lugar específico. Especialmente cuando hablamos de direcciones. Right? O de ubicaciones. Okay. Ajá. Pero cuando decimos que vivimos dentro de o fuera de, in. El contexto cambia, pero ambas oraciones son correctas. ¿Yes? Ok. Ok. Good. Now, 
Ajá, aquí está el caso de Mario. Come on, Mario, pay attention. So, in, on, or at. On. 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 Yes. on. on. Correct. Because we're talking about... Street. Estamos hablando de la trigésima avenida. Eh, calle, sorry. Trigésima calle, right? Okay, by the way, talking about this, do you know the nomenclatura of San Salvador? ¿Alguien de aquí se puede la nomenclatura de San Salvador? Downtown. That's all right. That we have four X axes, right? Tenemos cuatro ejes. La calle Arce, que se convierte en calle Delgado. La avenida España, que se convierte en avenida Cuscatlán. Y quedan en la, en la en el área cero de San Salvador, right? Okay. In the cathedral. Ca cathedral. Cathedral. cathedral is, yes. It's in front of the cathedral, right? And then we go to the street. Let's go la, eh, la primera, la tercera, la, la novena, la onceava, etc., etc., right? And then to the other side is la segunda, la cuarta, la sexta, la octava, you know? Good. And the famous case of the 610th Avenue, right? The 610th. No, street, right? La sexta décima calle. You know the story? It's near to the Cuscatlan Park. Ajá, uh -huh, correct. You know the story? ¿Saben por qué se llama sexta décima? No. Okay. The thing is that there are three streets, right? En el centro de San Salvador hay tres calles, you know? La... La sexta, la octava y la décima, you know, the sixth, the eighth, and the tenth, you know. And they go, they go like this, van hacia arriba, pero en un momento la, la octava desaparece, se topa en un borde ahí <ríe> por el cementerio, de San Salvador, que desaparece. ¿no? Y la sexta y la décima se unen en una sola calle que va a dar por el gimnasio nacional, Parque Cocatlán, etcétera, etcétera, right? This is the story of uh, only in El Salvador. Only in El Salvador. Sexta vez. You know? <laughs> okay. Only in El Salvador, queso duro blandito, right? It's a special country, teacher. Yes. Queso duro blandito. <laughs> oh, you say, it, ch, ch, ch. ya vengo. En lugar de decir, ya me voy, ya vengo. Ya vengo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ¿De dónde, <laughs> teacher? <laughs> only in El Salvador, right, Mario? En lugar de decir, ya nos vamos, decimos, ya vengo, decimos, ok. Ok, number three, please, group number three. Where? Do. Do, correct, excelentoso, do. Because your friends is plural, right? Ok, yeah. let, let it be, please, group number three. They in. work in an office. But again, I say you can say at, right? In and at. Ok, thank you very much, group number three. Group number one, again. Number four. Group number one, group, group number one, number four. Das. das. Correct, because Roberto is only one Roberto. <laughs> it's singular. In third person singular, right? Tercera persona singular, Roberto. Good. He works... At, at a pharmacy. Again, you can say in or, or at, right? Okay, group number two, please. Where do you go? I don't I want to know. So where do or where does? Where do you? Do, right? It's singular, but it's second person. Aunque sea singular, pero como esta segunda persona. So do, right? Where do you go out for dinner? Uh, me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant. Ni hao. Chinese restaurant. In or at the mall. Group number two. In. In, right? Here, I guess it's more appropriate to say at, but in is okay. No problem. Okay. Group number three. We finish with number six, please. Where do or where does? Do. Where do, correct. Because it's third person plural. They, right? Uh -huh. They exercise. Uh 
at at home correct can we say in home yes or no Yes or no, class? Yes. I think yes. I think no. No. Because at it's home. an exception. It's an exception. Home all the time is at. Like you say at midnight, at noon. So we all the time say at, right? It's, it's a rule. It's la regla. No se le puede olvidar. Nunca van a decir in home or on home. or It's only at. Only at home. Or, or when you say, I go to the park, I go to the station, I go to the beach. But home, you say, I go to home. No, I go home. Go home, right? Exception, exception, exception. Okay, class, repeat after me, ladies and gentlemen. Repeat after me. Where do you live? I live at 12 Cuscatlan Avenue. Where does your boss live? She lives at an apartment building on 30th Street. Thirtieth Street. Where do your friends work? They work in an office building near the park. Where does Roberto work? He works at a pharmacy. Where do you go out for dinner? Me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant in the mall. Where do they exercise? Where do they exercise? They exercise at home. Yeah. They exercise at home. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good. Now, I don't know if you have any question, class. Okay, let's practice. Let's practice, please. Uh, let me see. Uh, number one, please. Uh, Griselda. And Josue, please. Number one, A and B. Griselda A, Josue B, right? Where do you live? Where do you live? Josue? Jesús Armando, Mr. Castillo. Okay, Carolina, please help me. Carolina, letter B. Okay. I live at um, 12? 12 Cuscatlan mm -hmm. Avenue. Good, thank you. I live, right? I live. Thank you, Carolina. And thank you, Griselda. Now, um, Mario, please, Mario Ernesto. Ernesto A, Mario B, number two. Uh, where does your boss live? He lives at an apartment building on 30th Street. Good, thank you. Where 
Does your boss live, right? Live. Uh -huh. Okay, number three, please. Um, Marlon, A, Saul, B. Number three. Marlon? Mr. Gomez? Mr. Gomez? Buenas noches, dígame. Uh, please, I need you to help me with number three. Number, number three, right? three, okay. Uh, letter A. And Saul letter D. D. Okay. okay. Where do your friends work? They work in an office building near the park. Thank you, Saul. Thank oh, you, Marlon. Oh. It says an office, oh. right? An <laughs> office. Okay, nice. Very good, Marlon. Nice, Saul. Okay, number four, please. Ana Maria and Chris. Ana Maria, your A. Where does Roberto work? He works a farm at sorry, he works at a pharmacy. Okie dokie, thank you. Daisy number uh, five, right? Daisy, your letter A. Dagoberto letter B. Daisy A, Dagoberto B. Number five. Where do you go out for dinner? Me? I go to a nice Chinese restaurant in the mall. Okay, dokie. Thank you. Listen, Daisy, go out for dinner. Go out, right? Go out. Excellent. Excellent. Good. And to finish, number six, please. Uh, Griselda and Jorge. Griselda A, Jorge B. Where do you, where do they exercise? They exercise at home. Okie dokie, very good, right? Very good. Now let me see. Okay, now. If no questions, let's continue with the next. I guess we we'll finish. Ah, oh, yes, we we'll finish, right? We we'll finish. Good. Now, uh, any of you have run with the platform? Hay alguno de ustedes que tenga problemas con los ejercicios de la plataforma? Hasta este momento tendremos que tener completa la unidad uno, dos y tres. Y el examen de medio curso. El viernes terminaríamos con la unidad 4. Y el examen final, el viernes, the Friday, right? It's November 24th, November 24th, Friday, November 24th. Okay? Unit 4. And the final test. No problem for the moment. Teacher, yo yes. con uno. Eh... Estaba completando justo hoy, estaba eh, terminando y avanzando la unidad 4, pero hay en una eh, donde hay que completar eh, cómo formar las oraciones, el orden. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Pero no, o sea, por más que intenté, intenté de diferentes formas, no logré. Yo creo que es el ejercicio, si no me equivoco, el 13 o el 14, no me acuerdo. Pero es la segunda. ¿Ah? Ah, okay. ¿Le puedo ayudar? Sí, sí, sí. Verifique al final si le pone el punto final o el signo de interrogación. Le puse el, el, el signo porque es donde está la palabra de John, como que él va, no sé a dónde va, pero dice John como que va a algún lugar. Entonces, pero no logro, aunque la ordene como la ordene, no logro que me salga buena toda, me salen bien, menos esa. Ok, vamos a revisarla entonces ahorita, ¿le parece? Gracias. Carolina, vamos a revisarla. Permítame, solo quiero abrir el, la plataforma. Ahí estamos ya. Unidad 3, ¿verdad, eh, Daisy? 
Sí, en la unidad 3, eh, no sé si es la 3 o la 14, la elección. 13 o 14, y ahorita lo revisamos. Yes. Good. Ahorita se los comparto, yes. Mm -hmm. Ahí estamos, ok. Now, eh, la 13 y just to one option, what time is it? Ah, no, 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 no es esa, pero yeah, es que yeah. la otra es de completar. Vamos a ver si es la... 14. No, pues no, eh, pongamos la 12, perdón, perdón, que lo moleste ahí. No, 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 come on. no es molestia para nada, todo lo contrario, para eso estamos. Es que es completar, yeah. Yeah, esa, one, right? justo okay. esa. Entonces, la 3 es la que no logro completar, la, la que dice where John, ajá, ahí. Ok, eh, y le puso el auxiliar. Sí, el, el, el das. Uh -huh. Sí, okay, era sí. yo. Ajá, das. Ajá. Ok, y el where lo puso con mayúscula. Sí, sí, sí lo puse. Y dije, quizás <risa> los espacios, quizás, o sea, quizás yo vale. lo ordené mal. Lo voy a hacer yo y vamos a ver si me sale bien a mí. ¿Le parece? Ok. Vamos a ver. Where. ¿Qué va después? El auxiliar, right? El auxiliar das. Das, luego John. Ajá. Con la John. H y la N. Sí. Luego no le agrego la S porque ya lleva das. Uh -huh. Y luego la preposición from, right? Ok. Le y el, un, uh -huh. el signo. Si uno me pregunta, me voy y le doy a enviar y me parece buena. Pero a mí no me aparece. Pero ok. Voy Va, a pero voy vea, a, voy vea, a vea cómo lo hice. Where. Does John come from? Le estamos dando copia a todos, Carolina. <risa> okay. Ya sé, yo lo Mira. sé, pero es la única, Mira. porque es la única que me ha salido ahí mal están. y todas están bien. A todos están Va, apuntando. Mire, Jorge, como... Mario, todos están apuntando ahí la respuesta. <risa> ya hicieron ellos, no, o sea, ya avanzaron, hasta ya terminaron la unidad. Ahí usted ahí diciendo que la copia arriba va a ser... Esa me faltaba, teacher. Ya, ah, ya completé. No, <risa> trampa. <risa> Gracias, Cristian. <risa> no, cabrón. Sí, no. Bueno, inténtelo así. ¿verdad? Sí, sí, porque solamente esa es la que no, no logro de ahí las demás sí están ya completas. Puede ser algún espacio que le dio de más. Bórrelo todito y lo vuelve a hacer, ¿sí? Ok, ¿Sí? teacher. Sí, ok. Sorry. Gracias. Pero, ya, ya, ya le demostré que ya que se puede. <risa> Ok, y si no, pues le va a quedar a 95. No, porque ya me va a hacer falta 5. Ok, muy bien, inténtelo entonces. Now, let's continue. Uh, anybody else? ¿Alguien más que tenga problemas con la plataforma? Nobody? Ok, continue, let's continue, babies. Let's do it. Now, you can miss it. No hay forma que te perdas, right? You can miss it. Now here we have some places. Look. Post office. Drugstore. Gas station. Department store. Bank. Bookstore, coffee shop, and supermarket. Okay, good. Those are the places. Now, what are we going to do? We are going to complete with this. Look, you can buy aspirin. Where can you buy an aspirin? Let it be, right? In a drugstore. Good. Number two. Bread. Where can you buy bread? A dictionary. Where can you buy a dictionary? Gasoline. Where can you buy gasoline? Sandwich. Where can you buy a sandwich? And stamps. Bueno, ya no, 
ya no se venden, ¿verdad? Pero todavía cuando se envía, envía paquetes, pues eh, todavía se pone estampita, ¿verdad? Ok, stamps. A suit. Where can you buy a suit? Where can you buy a traveler check, right? Ok, good. Let's see. <coughs> Number two, right? Volunteers, please, bread. Where can you buy bread? Let me see. If I want to, to buy bread, where can you buy bread? A supermarket. A supermarket. In a supermarket, yes. So supermarket is letter H, right? A. H. Letter H, good. Where can you buy a dictionary? In a bookstore. In a bookstore. F. Letter F. Letter F, right? Good. Gasoline. Where can you buy gasoline, class? Gas station. C. A gas, gas station. station. Right. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Okay. Letter C, right? Now, where can you buy a sandwich? Uh -huh. At a bank. A no. coffee shop. At a coffee shop. Very good. A coffee shop, right? So, letter G, right? Mm -hmm. How about stamps? Where can you buy stamps? Post office. At a post office. Letter, letter A, right? Good. And a suit, where can you buy a suit? Traje, right? If you want to buy a suit, where, where do you go? A department store. Letter? D. Letter D. Letter D, right? And check at the viajero, traveler checks. Where can you buy traveler checks? A bank. At a bank. Okie dokie. So bank is letter E, right? Letter E, right? Okay, now class, listen and check your answers, please. Unit 13. You can't miss it. Page 86, exercise 1. Word power. Places and things. Part A. Where can you buy these things? Match the things with the places. Then listen and practice. 1. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. 2. You can buy bread at a supermarket. 3. You can buy a dictionary at a bookstore. 4. You can buy gasoline at a gas station. 5. You can buy a sandwich at a coffee shop. Six. You can buy stamps at a post office. 7. You can buy a suit at a department store. 8. You can buy traveler's checks at a bank. Okay, now let's practice question and answer, right? Question and answer, right? Okay. Ana Maria, you made the question to Claudia. Hello, Claudia. ¿Ya puede participar? No yet. Todavía no. Ok. Wow. Dígame, profesor. ¿Ya, ¿Ya puede participar, Claudia? Todavía no. Vamos a tratar. Ah, ok. Good. Vamos a tratar. Esa es la actitud que me gusta. Ok. 
Now, Claudia, uh, I mean, uh, Ana Maria, you make the question. I will copy the question for, for, for Ana Maria, right? The question is, where can you buy? Where can you buy aspirin, right? And Claudia answered, you can buy an aspirin. Or you can buy aspirin. Aspirin. At a, at a drugstore, right? Drugstore. Because we're talking about things and places where you can buy, right? Okay, ready? One, two, three, action. Where can you buy aspirin? Uh -huh, Claudia. You can buy aspirin. You can buy aspirin. You can buy aspirin. At. Uh huh. At a bank. Uh, or... Hola, hola. Uh huh. Uh, drug, drugstore. At a drugstore, very good. You can buy aspirin at a drugstore. Very good, thank you. Now, Chris, you made the question to Daisy, please. Bread. Where can you buy bread? Uh -huh. Where you can buy bread? Daisy? You can buy bread at Daisy, do you copy? Okay. Creo que tienen problemitas ahorita Daisy con. Okay. So we're going to have uh, Dagoberto, please. I can buy bread uh, at the coffee shop. Uh, well, yes, but a sandwich too, right? And a coffee. Ah. But, uh, but... <laughs> at the supermarket. <laughs> at a supermarket. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Now, let me see. Um, next one, right? Number three. Eh, Griselda and Jorge. Griselda, the question, Jorge, the answer, right? Dictionary, a dictionary. Griselda? Where you can buy a dictionary? Uh, I buy. You can buy. You can buy. You can buy a a dictionary at. And no recuerdo cómo se dice. Bookstore. Bookstore. Okay, very good. Permítame. Eh, estoy activando acá. Ah, Hoy sí okay. ya puedo. Ya puedo. Okay, good. Sí. Me salí y volví a entrar. Ah, ok. <ríe> sí, fíjese, porque yo no, no puedo eh, no puedo dar permisos de micrófono, no sé por qué. Okay. Pero, pero igual, ya está, es muy importante. Ok. So, now let's go to number, to the gasoline, right? So, Daisy, you say, where can you buy gasoline, right? And you make the question to eh, Josué. Josué, are you ready, Josué? 
Uso Armando? Sí. Ok, good. Pay attention. Listen to, to Daisy. Now, Daisy, where can you buy gasoline? Eh? Eh, where do you? Where can you? Where can you? Where can you? Buy? Buy gasoline. Ajá, uh -huh, Josué. You can buy gasoline. Uh, gas station. Ah, uh, but 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 repeat. You can buy gasoline. You can buy some. You can buy. You can buy. No, no, come on. You can buy, right? <laughs> <laughs> me, me hizo caer en la trampa. Josué, hasta a mí me hizo caer en la trampa. You can buy. <laughs> no, you can buy. Es que el el café. Miren, Mario también se nos está durmiendo ahí. Ya les dije, un cafecito, ¿verdad? Ni modo. <risa> Recuerden que esta es la última semana, ¿verdad? El, el, terminamos el lunes, ya el martes le puede dar vacación, <risa> hasta Navidad. <risa> ok, eh, Josué, so, you can buy gasoline. Mm -hmm. Repeat, you can buy gasoline. You can, you can buy gasoline. At a gas station. At a gas station. Okay, good, very good, very good, very good. Thank you, thank you very much, right? Okay, let me see. Coffee, Mario, coffee. <laughs> okay, uh, we have I'm now... One teacher. Huh? No, you don't want. I, I drunk one. Oh, now, so you need two, right? So, uh, if this is Mario because some people cannot sleep when they drink coffee. Algunas personas no pueden dormir cuando toman café, right? Pero a mí me pasa lo contrario. I can. A mí me pasa lo contrario. Cuando estoy dormido no puedo tomar café. Okay. Now, eh, nos quedamos con, con Daisy, right? And Josué. Now, Griselda. Griselda and Jorge, right? Yes? So, Griselda, make the question with the sandwich. Miss Rosales? Where I can buy a sandwich? Where, uh, where can you buy? I can lo hice como yo. Where do you can buy a sandwich? Ajá, uh -huh, Jorge. Uh, you can buy a sandwich a coffee store. Uh -huh. You can buy a coffee sandwich shop. at a coffee, coffee shop. shop. Very, very good. Thank you. Now, the stamp, right? No, vamos a saltarnos al sud porque las, las estampitas ya no las venden. En el... <laughs> okay, sud. And we have Carolina, right? Carolina and Ernesto, a suit. Where can you, you can buy? A no, where... No, no, where, where can you buy? Where could you buy a suit? Ah, uh, Jorge. You, you can buy suit uh, at a department store. Good, that's it, right? <laughs> nice. No, no sé si fui yo o no, no le escucho la, la misma voz, Jorge. O, o me contestó Jorge. Jorge. Y contestó Mario. Entonces no sabía yo ahí cómo era. No, está bien, está bien. Solo que le cambió la voz a, a Jorge. <laughs> está bien, excelente, excelente. Lo importante es que contestemos. Ok. Entonces, sorry, sorry, Jorge. No, 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 that's okay. Don't worry. It's okay. It's okay. Now, eh, Jorge, you make the question, traveler checks, please. And Marlon. Marlon, please. You make the answer, right? Okay, let's do it, Jorge. Number? Numbers, number eight. Number eight. Where you can buy Where travel? can you? Where can you? Buy? Where can you? 
Where can you buy? Travels, checks. Marlon. Um, you can buy. You can. Eh, es la respuesta, ¿no? Ah, yes, yes, yes. Pero no sé cómo hacer la respuesta. Es que okay, lo... like this. Look, you can buy aspirin at a drugstore, but in this case, you can buy traveler checks at. Ajá, uh -huh. you can buy a um, travel checks at at. Check it at a bank. Very good. Okay. Thank you, class. Thank Please. you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, good. Now, los que me faltaron, let me see. Eh, Mario, where can you buy pupusas, Mario? You can buy pupusas at the pupuseria, teacher. Good, thank you very much. Eh, let me see. Maybe. Puede participar, maybe. Ah, no, está de oyente, maybe. Ya me acordé. Ok. So, Saúl, where can you buy eh, nuegados? <laughs> where can you buy nuegados, Saúl? You can buy eh, in park in Antiguo Cucatlán. Oh, yes, it's true, right? <laughs> oh, you can buy nuegados in a chilatería, right? <laughs> okay, doki. Thank you, thank you very much. Now we're going to, we are going to uh, make a, a listening exercise. Okay, give me a second here. Okay, good. Okay, let me see here, right now. I need a new swimsuit. The mean traje de baño, right? Swimsuit. Listen to the Anderson family's conversations. And what do they need? Where are they going to get the things? And so you were going, we're, we are going to complete the chart, right? So we have Jean, mom, dad, and Mike. This is the Anderson family, right? So... What products are they buying? What products, right? And where are they going to buy the products? So listen to the audio. Page 87, exercise two, listening. I need a new swimsuit. Part A, listen to the Anderson family's conversations. What do they need? Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I'm going to go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things, too. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay. Any question? Now, let's go one by one, right? Let's go back to Jean. Where are they going to get the things? Complete the chart. One. Jean, are you going to come to the beach with us tomorrow? 
Yes, but I need a new swimsuit. I need a swimsuit, right? Uh huh. And where? Where is she going to buy the swimsuit? Pay attention. I'm gonna go to a department store this afternoon. Maybe I can find one. Good. Can I go with you? I need to get some things too. Uh huh. So where is going to Jean buy the the swimsuit? Department store. In a department store, right? Like Sambors, the uh, Breshkas, Siman, uh, Saras, etc., etc. Department store, right? Department store. Like Prisma, for example, Prisma. Okay, a department store. Good. Let's go to mom. What is mom going to buy? Where is she going to buy the thing? Listen, please. Two. Are you going to look for some clothes, Mom? Oh, no. I'm going to go to the supermarket. What do you need? I just need some cookies for tomorrow. We're going to take a picnic lunch to the beach. Oh, good. Can you get chocolate cookies? Sure. Okie dokie. So what is Mom going to buy? Chocolate cookies. I'm sorry. Cook it, right? Okay, give me a second here. So mom is going to buy cookies. And where is she going to buy cookies? Supermarket. A supermarket. Uh-huh. Correct, right? Good. Let's go to that and listen. Listen to that. Three. What's wrong, Dad? I have a terrible headache. Oh, that's too bad. Do we have any aspirin? I can't find any in the house. No, we don't. Sorry. Hmm. I need some right now. I'm going to go to the drugstore and get some. Four. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Where? So, Dad, right? What is Dad going to the drugstore and get some? Aspirin. Aspirin, right? Aspirin. Correct. Give me a second here. Aspirin, right? Aspirin. Uh, where is is he going to buy the aspirin? To the dog drugstore. Drugstore, drugstore, drug right? At a drugstore. Good. And let's go to Mike, the last one, right? Four. Where are you going, Mike? To the bookstore. What for? Do you need a book? No, I want a magazine. I need something to read at the beach tomorrow. Are you going to walk? No, drive. Hey, where's the car? Your father has it. He's at the drugstore. Okay. So? Magazine. Magazine. Magazine, right? He's going to buy a magazine, right? Okay, let me see. Magazine. And where is he going to buy the magazine, class? Bookstore. To a bookstore. Very good. Bookstore. That's it. Now, any question? No question. No question. No question. Okay. Very good. So we finish and we're going to make the last exercise. Let me see. In the manual, right? In the manual. Okay. Let me open the manual for you. And we finish the class after this. Just let me open the manual. Hmm, I have a lot of windows open. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, here I have it.
Okay, give me a second here, right? Sorry, give me some seconds, class. Ah, uh, here, right? Yes, I have it. Now let me share with you. Let me compartirle. Here, right? Okay, this is the manual. Page number 39. Page 39, right? Okay, this is the map of the city. Can you see? And here we have the bank, the mall, the restaurant, the school, the church, etc., etc., right? And now we have some questions. Question number number one. Which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the restaurant on? Barrios Street or Roosevelt Street? Roosevelt, Roosevelt Street. Street. Roosevelt Street, correct. Question number two. Which street did the city hall, the city hall on? Second Avenue. Second Avenue and? Russell, Russell Street. And Roosevelt Street. Roosevelt Street and Second Avenue, correct. Very good. And other restaurant is also in the, in the First Avenue, right? El restaurante también está en la primera avenida, right? First Avenue and Roosevelt Street. And the city hall, Second Avenue and Roosevelt Street. Now, number three. It says, which street is the park on? Ah, this is more complicated. Which street is the, the park on? It's between First and Second Avenue. Uh -huh. Or between, or between Barrios Street and Roosevelt Street. Excellent. Very good, Mario. Very good, Mario. Ya ve que nos todavía tiene energía, Mario. Yes. Nice. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Two coffee, right? No, ya va por el tercer café, Mario. <laughs> okay. Es que no toma tacitas, toma pichol de café, quizás. <laughs> okay, very good. Son las semitas. Oh, yes, it's true. <laughs> bueno, ya yo la adiviné. Hasta la una de la madrugada va a estar despierto, Mario. <laughs> okay, let's continue, right? Now, on, in, and out, right? Let's make this exercise together. Okay, pero antes de terminar, voy a Vamos a ver quién se va a quedar conmigo esta noche. De diez minutos extra. Los candidatos son. And the nominees are. Marlon. Eh, Saúl. Only Marlon and Saúl, right? ¿Quién se quiere quedar? Diez minutos extra. Marlon Aquí estoy. Saúl. Pregúnteme, teacher. Ah, Pregúnteme. good, Marlon. Thank you, Marlon. Listo para la entrevista. I am ready for to interview. Interview. Good. Thank you, Marlon. Good. Entonces, esta noche con Marlon. Good. Now, let's go to the exercise. Uh, I work in the bank that is in, on, or at. On. On, right? Correct. Let's do it together. On. On First Avenue and Barrio Street. Good. Let's go to the second one. With their factories located in, on, or at La Libertad. In La Libertad. In La Libertad, right? In this case, we cannot say at. Only in. Because we're talking about a place, city, right? Estamos hablando de una ciudad, de un lugar que está parcialmente cerrado por postes, casas, edificios, árboles, etc. So, in, only in, right? Okay. Number three, we see you. A training room. A training room. Aquí como que hemos apropiado el ad, right? So, we say ad, training room. Or in the cafeteria. 
in the cafeteria or at the cafeteria, right? The two are correct. Now, number four, Anna works in the company that is in, on, or at the town. Mm -hmm. in. in town, correct, right? Nuevamente, cuando se trate de bosques, ciudades, países, right? We say in. No es que uno esté encerrado en un huevito ahí, sino que es como hay edificios, hay casas, etc. So that's why we say in, right? In this context. Ok, okidoki. Next one, please, number five. My relatives, my familiar, right? My family members go to the mall that is on Roosevelt Street. Oh, correct. On. on Roosevelt Street. Correct. And finally, number six, tell him that we are. Ah, ya está contestado. Qué trampa. <laughs> at the meeting room. <laughs> ya está la respuesta ahí. <laughs> okay, at the meeting room. Good. Now I need a volunteer to read. Please, volunteer. Hi, teacher. Good. Marlon, listen to Marlon. Number one, two, three, four, five, and six. Number one. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue and Barrios Street. Number two. The factory is located in Look. La Libertad. Mm -hmm. Located? Three. Marlon, located? Located? Ah, located. Mm -hmm. The factory is located in La Libertad. Number three, we see you at training room or at the cafeteria. Number four, Anna works in the company that is in town. Number five, my relatives go to the mall that is on Roswell Street. Number six, tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. 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 Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Marlon. You're very nice. Now, class, any question? The use of in, on, and at, right? In, on, at. When we talk about places, right? In summary, right? So much. Uh, Sorry, resumiendo, right? Summary. We use on when we talk about surfaces. We use in when we talk about a closed place. Then we we use at when we talk about specific places. Specific places, right? Good. I will take the attendance. You say good night. I only stay with Marlon, right? Ana Maria, say present, please. Ana Maria. Okay, Claudia. Hola, hola. Okay, have a good night. See you tomorrow, Claudia. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, Chris. Present. See you tomorrow. See ya. Okay, Daisy. Present. Bye, bye. Dagoberto. Present. Good night. You too. God bless you. Glenda estuvo de oyente and Griselda. Present. Okay, bye-bye, Griselda. Have a good night. Jorge? Present. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Josué? Present. See you tomorrow, Josué. Carolina? Present. Okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow, Carolina. God bless you. Ernesto? Present, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you. Night. See you. Take care. Mar eh, Mario? Bye, teacher. Good Bye, bless Mario. you. You good too. You too. Good night. You too, right? Marlon? Here I am, teacher. Okay, good. Wait for me. Saul? Present. Bye. See you tomorrow, Saul. God bless you. And Jancy, right? Jancy? Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye, teacher. Okay, take care. Maybe?
Maybe? Present. Okay, see you tomorrow, Present. maybe. Have a good night. Bye bye. Okay, Marlon. Hello, Marlon. Little tired, right? Cansadito. Yes, teacher. Okay, I am I am too tired. Me too, me too. But you know, you have to okay. make a double effort, right? Double effort. Un esfuerzo doble, right? Trabajo. I'm going to move my neck. <laughs> <laughs> ah, like this. Stretch. You say stretch. <laughs> okay. So any okay. any topic that is difficult for you, Marlon? Any question? Uh, si yo tengo una pregunta para usted. Yeah, come on, come on. Um, eh, ¿Puedo preguntarle en español? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> bueno. Este ¿Cómo siente el grupo? O sea, ah, very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, uh, the only problem is that uh, most of you work very hard, right? La mayoría trabaja muy fuerte. Y sí. pues a veces hay muchos inconvenientes a la hora de estar en clase, ¿no? Entonces, eh, a veces es un poco difícil para mí eh, porque quisiera que todos participaran, así como usted, ¿verdad, Marlon? Usted es muy participativo. Pero, sí, por pero no, no estoy muy bien al nivel de algunos. Que... No, a mí no, me gusta no. participar, pero... Marlon, we are in basic one. Estamos todavía en básico uno. No quiere decir que, que nos vamos a atrasar tampoco, pero, pero sin embargo, yo siento que este está muy bien. ¿Verdad? Hoy todos los temas que hemos visto, el, los posesivos, el verbo to be, el presente simple, las preguntas de información que son un poco complicadas, Marlon. Eh, entonces yo siento que más o menos usted anda bien. Sin embargo... I take it, uh... Mm -hmm. uh, six years ago, mm -hmm. one course in um, la Universidad Pedagógica. Ah, that's why you're not lost, right? Por eso no anda tan yes. perdido. Lo, lo veo ubicado, sí. Duró tres años y no, bueno, aprendí lo básico, pero realmente como no lo practiqué, y mm -hmm. era, el curso era solo los fines de semana y no me queda mucho tiempo de practicar por mi trabajo. Yeah. Pero sí, de vez en cuando le doy clase a los niños. Menciono Excellent. parte del cuerpo, algunas cosas básicas. Yes. Entonces, bueno, eh, me parece súper excelente. Right, <laughs> right, left, left, right. Ok. Ah, right, left. left. Nose. Uh -huh. No. Ears, head, hands. <laughs> Very good. And, you know, eh, Marlon. In YouTube, you have everything. So you can practice videos, right? Yes. Do you have Netflix in your house or HBO or Disney or something? Um, no. Sí, lo, eh, esas plataformas no, pero sí veo algunos videos aquí en YouTube. In English, right? So you can practice in English. Also, Marlon, yeah. with music. Music is I need to very... Learn. I need to practice my English. I consider that is uh, so basic. Um, my... Yeah, Marlon is basic, but it's good. So okay. don't, don't, don't say like, I am bad. No, yo soy malo. No, puedo. no, no, never, never, Marlon. Never. You're good. You, the only thing that is very, is basic, right? So, but my question is, Marlon, you, you make a teacher, you say, ¿Cómo siente el grupo? Now I make the question to you, Marlon. Do you uh -huh. think do you think you're you're practicing in this class? Uh, do you uh, think so, you're, so. you're producing? Uh -huh, because uh, I I try to make the students participate, right? But, but there, there is not the same like uh, you are in person that uh, you are virtual. It's, it's not the same because sometimes we have some inconvenience. For example, in, in your house, uh, I, I hear your your children are, are playing sometimes, you know, and then uh, it's not the same. It's not the same. So because you pay attention to the to your children and you pay attention to the class, right? But I have many distractions. Um, I know, uh -huh, I know. But uh, I consider you're doing more the, the tired of... 
Uh -huh. But Marlon, listen. In my difficult. opinion, in my yeah. opinion, you're doing well. Oh, thank you. Well, sir. yes, you're doing well, right? Because when I say participation, conversation, so you say, me, teacher, me, that is good. Every time you participate, you practice more. That's the idea, right? But sometimes some students, no, teacher, me, oyente, tonight. No, 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 come on. Participation is the best. It's like, Marlon, it's uh, like when you're swimming, right? Oyente, creo. Uh -huh, y la que no, no. no. No, 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 I understand. No, no, I'm not talking about you, right? Not about you, because you participate. Yes, it's good. But uh, if you say, no, I don't want to participate, you never learn, right? Nunca va a aprender si no participas. But in your case, in your case, yes, you participate a lot. Usted participa mucho en clases, right? And this is good. But I, I recommend to practice with videos, with music, etc., etc., right? Eh, Marlon, ¿se ha fijado que todas las semanas les envío, todos los días les envío un video al grupo? Sí, no los he abierto. ¿Pero es porque sí, no ha sí, tenido sí. tiempo o porque no puede abrirlos? Sí, Te... mira, le voy a comentar en español. Ok, yes, bueno, yes. Tell me, tell me. Tengo, tengo tres trabajos y en, y en cada trabajo no es una área específica, o sea, vaya, hay un trabajo donde yo tengo que atender niños y el día sábado me toca atender este un sexto nivel que no lo entreno un sexto nivel es como una categoría una sub-17 ah, okay. y pues estoy entrenando con un equipo de tercera división más el, el colegio demanda mucho trabajo en casa que he procrastinado porque ya no, no, no doy mi cabeza no, no da ayer pues vine y, y me recosté un poquito y ¡puf! <risa> yeah, yeah. no, si es que creo que de hecho creo que logré entrar y no sé si o mi mente apretó para entrar a la reunión y ya no, ya no reaccioné. Porque... Sí, sí, un rato. No, pero participó, me acuerdo, Marlon. Ah, no, no, ayer, no, 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 ayer no, sí es cierto, ayer no, ya me acordé, ¿no? Sí es cierto. Sí. Ajá, y me parece raro porque digo, Marlon siempre está en clase. Eh, sí, estamos claro. molestando. Pero bueno, mi consejo es este, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando, cuando termine el curso el otro lunes, eh, usted le va a quedar el material ahí. Entonces, practíquelo. Todavía va a tener eh, acceso a la plataforma, ¿no? Este, y ya, pues, vamos, se va a poder seguir con el grupo, pero ya habrá terminado el curso. Entonces, eh, eh, para en ese entonces usted trate de practicarlos, ¿verdad? Yo no sé si no, en, diciembre, sí. en diciembre salen ustedes, Marlon. Sí, nosotros salimos el 30, de, pero como tengo los otros trabajos, sigo trabajando. Sí, pero por lo el menos detalle, va a descansar del colegio, ¿va? por lo menos. A la mañana. El detalle es el siguiente. Yo siento un pequeño grado de frustración porque yo tomé el curso de la pedagógica por, con la idea, voy a aprender y voy a buscar otro trabajo. La educación física me, me fatiga tanto físicamente, quizás eso uno es normal. ¿va? Yo nunca me he quejado de eso eh, por la carrera que tengo, pero mentalmente ya... ya, ya agotaron mi paciencia los niños ya <risa> me gusta yeah. más trabajar con niños siempre pero en el área de, deportiva eh, mm. y darles clases de fútbol pero ya la educación física como que ya me aburrió <risa> <risa> sorry but you can so, include English Mar Marlon you can include English in the class ok, one, two, three <risa> no, sí, sí, yeah. sí lo digo muchas veces ok, very Claro, Sorry, pero but no lanzo de esa parte. This is the life, pero, right? Remember, we pass all the year, right? Que hemos pasado todo el año, ¿no? Entonces, ya a esta altura ya estamos cansaditos, yes. But, but I, I repeat, Marlon, in the class you do a very good job, right? En la clase esta, usted está, hace muy buen trabajo. Así es que, Thank por you, favor, le, lo, lo felicito y le pido que, que siga así, eso lo... Solo nos quedan cuatro clases, así que sí, sí. a darle con eso. Pablo, me dice que tengo que salir detrás del niño o algo así. Yes, Alessandro, ¿verdad? Right? Sí, Ajá. por ahí está viendo un video. Ok, very good. But congratulations, because you are a very good father, good father, good student, and good teacher. Ah. And good teacher. <laughs> Next, Vamos, soy el teacher enojado de los niños. Oh, no, come on. Oh, come on. Make one, two, up, 
and down. No, up and down. mire, es que eso es lo que fatiga, porque fíjese que a veces uno lo forma y ya uno está apoyando al otro y que no, se forma el desorden, que ya descontrola todo. I imagine. Ya, de esas cosas es que me estoy cansado yo, ya no, no es que no me guste la, la educación física, pero estar ente, atendiendo todo eso, volver a ordenar, y, y era mucha dificultad. I imagine. But we, we teachers have a quality, eh, Marlon, patience. Patience, right? We have to, right? Patience. Patience, right? Sea. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Marlon, thank you very much. I hope to see you tomorrow, right? Come on, you can do it. Take care, teacher. Practice have a good your night. English. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.